This morning, we are tracking Debbie and what it means for us here in Virginia. Right now, you're getting a live look at rain that is coming down in Virginia Beach. Debbie has already killed at least six people and displaced many more as it makes its way up the East Coast. And right now, Governor Yunkin has declared a state of emergency in Virginia. We do have team coverage this morning with Jacob Hunziker checking on road conditions. But first, we're going to send it over to meteorologist Will Stafford with what Debbie is looking for us looking for us right now and uh, will my drive in a lot of rain coming down it is a weather alert day mainly because of the rain we've got several different factors that we're watching today the main reason why we've issued the weather alert day is because of the rain and also the flooding but several different threats that we're watching for today new numbers on debbie are in as of five o'clock it has now made landfall just north of charleston 50 mile an hour wind 65 mile an hour gusts really not any big variations there to the track we've seen some scattered showers here locally this morning the real steady rain is still down mostly into the Carolinas. We'll be watching that as it lifts up to the north, already starting to get in on that heavy rain and that steadier rain from Charlotte County back down through Halifax County, Pennsylvania County, and Danville. We've seen those scattered showers, more kind of the pregame show, if you will. That's what came through earlier on this morning. A little bit of a break right now, but then the steady rain comes in as we go forward through the rest of the day today. Mid-70s outside across the board for most of us, some of us back into the lower 70s. You're not getting rain right now. You definitely will by at some point in the morning today. Temperature steady as she goes back into the low to mid 70s as we go forward through the rest of the afternoon for today. We're also tracking a potential river flooding threat that's later on down the road and a severe weather threat for today. A busy day in the weather office. We'll break it all down in just a few minutes. Now let's send things out to ABC 13's Jacob Hunsker. He's live right now in Campbell County, keeping an eye on road conditions for you. Jacob, what are you seeing so far? That drive-in was not a pleasant one. Uh, Patty, Paige, Will, everyone, good morning to you. Yes, that drive in this morning, definitely a couple of slick spots, a little bit of rain that we ran into and a couple of spots where we had a little bit of an issue kind of driving through. But so far this morning on US 29 in Campbell County heading towards Danville hasn't been too much of an issue. If you take a look at our dash cam, you can see the rain. It actually seems like it's slowed down in this current patch of where we're at as of right now. But in the last probably five minutes or so, it definitely was coming down a lot heavier. As Will touched on in the last couple of minutes, the south side is definitely going to be getting hit a lot harder early on this morning. That's what we're heading to right now to check on the conditions in Danville as the storm heads more towards the north. As I mentioned, as of right now, there hasn't been too many slick spots, just a couple of areas where we noticed a little bit of rain collecting on the roadways. Best course of action for you this morning, if you ha have to head out the door this morning, give yourself a little bit of extra time, drive safely, drive slowly. We'll have more updates throughout all of Good Morning Virginia as we monitor those road conditions. We'll be back with you guys here in about 15 minutes or so. We're live in Campbell County this morning. Jacob Hunziker, ABC 13 News. All right. Well, making sure they are ready, crews on the south side have also been gearing up for whatever Debbie may bring. ABC 13, Sharice Hoffman takes a look at the preparations in place for today. As Debbie approaches, officials tell me that it's important to prepare early. They say that you should hope for the best and expect the worst. Public works crews will start a 24 hour response shift. They'll be ready to go to flooded areas, down trees, river flooding and any other issues that come up. They're fueling up in pre-staging signs and barricades in areas that are known to flood regularly as an added safety measure. If the rain falls directly on us, we could have uh, flash flooding in the smaller creeks and, and street flooding around the city. But if the, a lot of rain falls west of Danville, then the Dan River could rise and then that's a different type of flooding. For those of you who live in flood prone areas here in Danville, Public Works has sand available. You can pick it up at the recycling area on South Boston and Halifax roads. Yeah, and as Debbie continues to move in, road conditions are something we are keeping a close watch on. That's right. So let's send it out to ABC 13's Jacob Hunziker. He is live out in Campbell County this morning. Well, that you should keep in mind as that rain moves in. Jacob, it wasn't too bad the last time we checked in with you. Yeah, Patty Page, good morning to both of you. That's kind of been the really the theme so far this morning. The rain actually has completely stopped where we currently are in US 29 in Campbell County, but that really could change as we continue to head further south towards Danville. And authorities right now are telling us the biggest thing they're concerned about is the potential for flooding, which of course is what we're expecting given the large amount of rain that's going to be coming in here. AAA even has some tips for you as you head out onto the roadways to stay safe later today. So take a look at some of these. The biggest thing, the first thing, if you see standing water simply turn around. No matter how shallow it might appear to you, there could be down power lines in that water. 
or it could go even deeper than you think. Uh, another thing, don't use cruise control. Obviously, it's a great feature when driving on dry roads, but believe it or not, when used in wet conditions, it's actually much easier for you to lose control. And as Debbie continues to head this way, it's important for you and your loved ones to stay as prepared as you possibly can. Paige? Her fire department is telling us more about just how powerful that water can be later on today. Yeah, it really is because believe it or not, something that a lot of people continue to underestimate, they don't realize just how easily that water can be really powerful. I mean, especially with how much rain we're going to be getting here, that water can easily swipe you away and not even understand just how quickly you can lose control of yourself or your vehicle. Believe it or not, just six inches of rain is enough for you to completely be swept away in rushing water and 12 inches of rain is enough for a small vehicle to be completely swept away. So again, basically best course of action. If you see that standing water or rushing water, don't go in it. Stay safe. Take things slowly. Get where you need to go safely today as we continue to, to deal with these heavy rains and Tropical Storm Debbie heading through Virginia. We're live in Campbell County this morning. Jacob Hunziker, ABC 13 News. All right. Well, speaking of pit flooding potential, VDOT says they are getting ahead of a likely closure in Halifax County. They sent out this map showing potential detours for Route 58501 in anticipation of having to possibly close it. As you can see, they have it all planned out. So also make sure to use VDOT's Virginia 511 live map. You can follow that online and see alerts in real time. You can see the places you need to avoid as well as roadblocks. ABC 13 Weather Alert Day, sponsored by Freedom First. All right, the main reason why we've issued this weather alert day today is for flooding. However, there is a mirage of different threats that we're also watching. It's just the main concern is going to be the flooding. We're looking at rain totals today, roughly between about three and five to three to six inches. That's on a broad brush level. We could see isolated higher amounts than that, especially right there on the eastern slopes of the mountains, as the mountains sometimes like to wring out any of that additional excess moisture. We're also going to be watching the winds today. They're going to be going sustained about 15 to 25 miles an hour, but we could see gusts today upwards of 40 miles an hour or even higher than that, especially in some of these heavier bands that go through. And anytime you're dealing with a tropical system, you also have that isolated tornado threat. It's not a high threat today, but nevertheless, it is there. We could definitely see a few spin-ups as we go through the afternoon. The pregame show rolled through earlier on today, and that could gave us a few showers earlier on this morning. Those are moving again in that non-traditional east to west fashion. A little bit of a break right now from Lynchburg down to Altavista and Bedford. Here's where Jacob is heading south of Brookneal, south of Chatham, back down and through Charlotte County, starting to see that steadier rain moving in. And this is the uh, tropical storm. We've got steadier, heavier rain now falling primarily along and south of the Stan River. And as we widen out the picture, you see that there's a lot more where that came from. It's a a little lopsided storm. Most of the time you see the heavier stuff on the eastern side. The steady and heavier rain are actually on the western side of this particular storm. So as it kind of rolls right up 29, we expect the heavier rain to fall on the western side of the center. On the eastern side of the center, that's where we could see that severe weather threat. Already seeing that tornado watch for the deeper red counties and these two highlighted counties are actually a tornado warning. They've had several of those already this morning just outside of Raleigh Durham. So the heaviest rain falls today and tonight. The strongest wind actually comes in later tonight with, again, the most widespread totals on that order between 3 to 5, 3 to 6. But like we said, there will be some of us, those isolated spots that get those 8 to 10 inch totals. So by around lunchtime, we'll start to see the rain moving in for everyone. Note the yellows, the reds, and the oranges. It's a widespread heavy rain event that will continue as we go through the evening. The drive home this evening is going to be a mess. 9.30 this evening, we're still looking at that heavier, steadier rain before things finally at least attempt to tone down after about midnight. We will be watching these little feeder bands here to see if any of these might try to spark an isolated spin up. But as we get to about first thing tomorrow morning, the storm pulls away. Still some lingering showers on the backside, but we will work to dry things out as we go into Friday. Then we'll talk about river flooding, but we'll take it one day at a time. So local impacts today in Central Virginia, rain going to be the main concern, along with that very high risk of flooding. 
Wind could gust up to 40 miles an hour. And again, the tornado threat low, but not necessarily at zero. Very similar song and dance along the south side for today and into the west. Not as much of a wind threat, but still a very high rain and flooding threat. And I don't think we see a tornado threat in the west because you're going to be too far away from the center. 100% chance of rain today. High temperatures kind of cool back low to mid 70s for most of us. We'll go 76 in for Lynchburg. Rain, wind, flooding will continue tonight. Upper 60s and lower 70s. We did continue the weather alert day for the day on Friday for the morning rain, but then we'll talk about river flooding is going to be a concern as we go through Friday. Some of that may linger into Saturday and also into Sunday. But next week overall looking much quieter.